What is up everybody? Welcome to another episode of FAQOV and today's topic has to do with the soft palate. We're going to go over what it is and why it's important. So, given that the soft palate is the thing that is responsible for this sound when you snore. It's a flap of muscle that's right above the tongue. It's literally opposite to the tongue and it goes along the roof of your mouth and hangs in the back of your mouth and on the end of it is something called your uvula. It looks like a little punching bag in the back of your throat or the, in the back of your mouth rather and what that does is when you are singing it catches the air and makes it possible to resonate the sound of your voice out to your audience and out to a room the roof of your mouth is very important when it comes to resonance of your voice. So having a strong, soft palate makes that possible. And there are many exercises that you can do to strengthen the soft palate. You can do your research on it. But you can think of it this way. Whenever you sing, whoa, the air is being caught by the soft palate and letting it, which lets it resonate on the roof of your mouth. So you want to make sure that you have a strong sail in order to get wherever you're going. If you're, you know, on a sailboat, you need air. You need to be able to catch that with a strong sail or the right type of sail. So think of your soft palate in the same way. Think of a boat going this direction and the air is going, it is going up and pushing upon the soft palate just like the air pushes upon a sail. So with that said, there are plenty of soft palate strengthening exercises. Anytime that you do a slow exercise, it strengthens the soft palate. Anytime that you do a, a swallowing exercise that strengthens the soft palate. Here is a, um, an easy and a very common exercise to strengthen the soft palate. Imagine that you're sucking in through a straw. Those are all ways that you can get in touch with the soft palate because that is literally like your third vocal cord. You have two vocal cords right here in your throat and I consider the soft palate the third vocal cord because of how much of an impact it has on your tone. Again, you want to make sure that you have a strong soft palate in order to complete the tasks that you have at hand for your voice and to be able to be diverse. So. If you have any more questions about the soft palate or want to delve deeper into it, I do offer voice lessons and uh, would be happy to give you an evaluation of where you are with your voice. Uh, just uh, look at the description of the video below to uh, schedule a lesson possibly and to uh, look at my other videos. Please subscribe to this channel because there's plenty more content uh, where this came from. And uh, until next time, always remember, practice makes progress, so go find your voice. See you next time.